Our next article is article number 21. Article number 21 is an article sponsored by the Transfer Station, the Recycling Committee, and the Board of Selectmen. Article 21 is to adopt a new bylaw to add a new chapter 195 for a plastic checkout bag prohibition. Um, and we have a, a motion and a report by Warrant Committee person Amanda Hall. Move to amend the code of the Town of Medfield bylaws to add a new chapter 195 plastic bag checkout prohibition as printed in the warrant. To date, plastic bag regulations have been approved in 99 towns and cities in the Commonwealth. Article 21 is consistent with the other towns and cities that have recently passed such bans. The Medfield Plastic Bag Reduction Initiative was formed and has conducted research and put forward the article with the support um, of the committee. Megan, Megan Sullivan will be presenting um, shortly in greater detail around this um, proposal. On a state level, a bill H-771 was proposed in the legislature earlier this year, which has been co-sponsored by many other state senators and House members. The bill calls for stores across Massachusetts to ban providing single-use plastic bags at checkout and is viewed as very likely to pass. If the state legislation passes, it would deem, only, it would deem any pre-existing regulations on the matter null and void. If the state legislation does not pass, then Medfield will have in place regulations that help to address the negative impact of plastic bags that plastic bags have on the environment and that are in keeping with a growing number of other towns and cities across the Commonwealth. The Warrant Committee recommends passage. Thank you. We have a short presentation, I think, from the, from the committee. I'm Megan Sullivan from 36 Wichita Road, together with Andrea Costello, the Medfield Plastic Reduction Initiative, the Transfer Station Recycling Committee. We are here to present this uh, bylaw proposal. Um, I'm going to give you an overview of it and then talk about why it's important. Essentially, we are talking about eliminating single-use plastic bags at checkout. And this is the bag you would get when you pay. And this would be at retail stores and at restaurants. So that's what the is included in the bylaw, not affected by the bylaw, would be bags such as your, uh, the bag you get your newspaper in or your dry cleaning bag, bags you would get within the store to gather produce or um, put around something that might be dripping or at the deli. And um, retail locations will continue to offer paper bags. So what we're really hoping is that you begin or continue to make reusable bags part of every shopping trip. So you can see there's a great variety of options for you for every occasion. Uh, you've got your traditional bags. The bottom left corner is one of my favorites. It's brightly colored and it um, collapses into that little pouch. I can keep it in my purse. You can throw it in your glove compartment, put it in your backpack. Um, so you always have it. Um, so you can see there's a great, great variety. My, my favorite one though is the top right, is just the grab and go. You always have that with you. Just grab your stuff and go. Um, local merchants already sell, um, many local merchants already sell reusable bags, and also the swap is opening on May 1st, and I understand it that there's always a great supply of reusable bags there. So bringing your bag is really a habit that you can easily adapt to. Um, it's just what you have to get used to. We need to make a little change. I only had to leave my groceries at the Shaw's uh, checkout line and run back to my car twice till it has become a habit. Now every time I head into a store, I, I do think about my bags and taking them in. So that's the what of the bylaw, and now I would like to talk to you about the why. You may have received a handout on your way in tonight, and I'm sure you'll agree the numbers are startling. You might even call them frightening. We just start, about start out talking about a single plastic bag, but it quickly becomes a story about a pile of bags when you return home from a shopping trip. And then in no time, each man, woman, and child has used over 300 plastic bags a year. And that's over 4 million bags in Medfield each year. In addition to the numbers, um, there are other problems with plastic bags as well. While they first appear to be a cheap alternative, in the long run, they're very costly. We use a non-renewable fossil fuel, like oil or natural gas, to make these bags that are in use for 12 minutes, and, but they last forever. And even if the bags are recycled, 
after the second use of the plastic, it still lasts forever. So plastics also have negative health impacts and environmental oops, impacts through their life cycle, from the way they are produced, to the chemicals that leach out during their life, and to the fact that plastics last forever. They don't biodegrade, they just break down into smaller and smaller pieces of plastics called microplastics. You may have heard that these microplastics are showing up in the food chain. So plastic is now everywhere and showing up in more and more places in our daily lives. You've seen plastic bags as litter. You've seen plastic bags on the beach where they're unsightly and also end up in the ocean where they threaten marine life and end up in our food supply. With so many problems associated with plastic and plastic bags, eliminating plastic anywhere we can is a step in the right direction. By passing this bylaw tonight, we'll make a small and easy change that will have a big impact. We'll eliminate four million plastic bags in Medfield every year. We will eliminate 59,000 pounds of plastic bag trash in Medfield every year, and that's after accounting for what's already being recycled. That's how much we throw away. And we will have no negative budget impact, which is always good. Um, we are not alone in our effort to make a difference. 99 other towns, you can see my um, slide shows 95 towns. Just last week, it was 95 towns. There are now 99 towns. Um, wouldn't it be nice to be town 100? We can do that tonight. By passing this bylaw, Medfield is saying that sustainability is important, that we're willing to look forward, and we're willing to make a change and use less plastic for the health of our planet. So I hope that you will join us, the Plastic Bag Reduction Initiative, the Transfer Station Recycling Committee, the Warrant Committee, the Board of Health, the Selectmen, and the 99 other towns in Medfield, and pass Article 21 tonight. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you for your initiative. Microphone number one. Yes, I'm Eve Potts from Green Street. And uh, in Facebook, just recently, someone said that it would be very inconvenient for seniors uh, to not be able to use plastic bags. Um, I'm a 89-year-old senior. <laughs> and... <laughs> Not that I go about bragging about it, but I just wanted to say that being a senior, four years ago, I start, discontinued using plastic bags. Couple main reasons for me, if they put too much in the bag, the handle would fall off and all my groceries would be on the parking lot. That was number one. And number two, I just... Uh, they all kind of fell apart when I put them in my trunk. So four years ago, I changed over to having a shopping bag reusable, and I've been doing it for four years. And as Megan said, she's right. It takes a while to get used to it. But once you do, it's kind of like putting on your seatbelt. You still, you automatically use it. And what's so nice about these, the handles don't fall apart. Also, you can stand it up in your trunk. It doesn't all slop over like plastic bags. So I just wanted to say that I'm certainly in favor of this. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, we'll see if anybody wants to speak in opposition after that. <laughs> okay. Uh, being no further comments, we'll put Article 21 to a vote. It requires just a simple majority. Oh, we do have a comment. Article number one. Uh, just one quick comment. Um, so, okay, please, if you don't mind identifying uh, yourself. Uh, Richard Judge over on uh, Juniper Lane. So, uh, I am the supplier to the restaurant industry. Uh, to give you an idea of how many bags we sell to the restaurant industry, I would say we would fill this uh, room once a month with bags. Um, I cannot uh, express my gratitude enough for the people who are making the change to get rid of these bags because they, even though we sell them, we sell them out of convenience as well. Uh, the bags come from China, they're shipped over on huge container ships uh, and they end up, uh, so they take up very little space. When they ship to us, uh, we'll have 2,500 bags in a, in a satchel. 
uh, once they're dispersed, that 25, the volume that that takes up in our landfills is, you can just imagine, add, add one ounce of air to every bag and you've got uh, 10 times the size. So uh, my compliments to the folks who are passing this. I'm disappointed that the state hasn't taken the lead on this, but maybe our, our voices will be heard and we'll, uh, we'll start the transfer of uh, away from plastics, uh, away from plastic straws eventually, I hope to see. Um, it's unbelievable how much of that ends up in our uh, streams, oceans, et cetera, and how much of it ends up uh, mixing into our, uh, our, our food of uh, next generation. Thank you. Well, thank you. Okay, let's put Article 21 to a vote. All in favor of the motion to adopt a new bylaw, please say aye. aye. Opposed? And the motion carries. Yeah. And efficiency and deliberate dispatch by acting upon certain articles as a group. For reference, you can look to uh, pages 18 and 19 of the report of the warrant.